okay, take 300 and million. It's been a day, guys. Uh, hello, my darlings, my lovelies, my beautifuls. It's another Friday, and that means another video. And also, apparently, it means you get to see my really red stained tongue. Slushies with the siblings. It's a bonding experience. Also a mess. <laughs> Um, so today's video, I wanted to talk about uh, keeping, I don't want to say keeping control in your life because this is not Fifty Shades Grey, but uh, another way that I kind of keep myself calm and not like slide into depression and psychotic rage or, you know, just flat out laying in the middle of the road waiting for death to come to me. Anyway, back to this. Uh, I try to stay prepared and this can mean a lot but for me it definitely means keeping track of the little things um, like before I went to college I took a course book and I pretty much planned out my entire four years of college and when it came time for scheduling it was pretty much a breeze I mean I had where I had to go schedule I had all the classes I was scheduling I had everything that I needed for those classes, I had it all ready to go. And I mean, that did, it took me a little bit of stress, like a couple hours to stress, let's not lie. But once it was done, it was done for like four years worth of stuff. And you know, I uh, keep a lot of like little writing places around my room because I do a lot of at home work um, besides, you know, my real paycheck providing job. <laughs> Like, I don't want to show you because my room's a mess over there, but I have a huge dry erase board for projects. I have a little notebook that I keep next to me on my uh, nightstand with a pen, so if I realize something in the middle of the night and I wake up and I'm like, <gasps> I could just reach over and write it down and then go back to sleep. Because it's all taken care of. Not really, just taking care of for that second. <laughs> anyway, but uh, however you try to you know keep handling the small details of your life or you know try things out that might work for you and trial and error all that I cannot stress enough how much easier life goes if you keep a handle on the little details like make sure your work schedule is like in your phone or uh, make sure you have appointments written down and you check all these things you know keeping a schedule and like a little notebook of things that you have to keep up on might seem a little anal retentive but it will save you so much grief and you know when you become an adult like me kind of I think I'm an adult I think legally I probably am <laughs> um, you're kind of in char it's kind of a scary thing to be in charge of your own life and it goes a lot smoother if you can um, I don't want to keep saying keep a handle on the small details, but that's basically what it comes down to. Keeping the tracks of all the little parts of your life that make it run smoothly. I mean, you're not going to get it right all the time, and if you're like me, you'll forget a lot. But it has been such, it's been the best part of growing up for me, is learning how to take care of all the little things that make my life run smooth, and actually seeing that pan out. So that is my advice for this week. And let me know down below if you agree with this or what is your, uh, do you have a daily plan? Do you have a monthly plan of making sure things go smoothly? Let me know down in the comments and also comment a subject that you want me to talk about in another vlog. Uh, we might have another version of the uh, horror games coming up. I have to convince other people to do it. But uh, yeah, this has been kind of a rambly vlog. I hope some of it made sense to you, and I will see you next Friday, my darlings. Mwah. Red tongue. Uh.